Yeah. It's a breakfast club, bitches. Who's donkey of the day today? Well, donkey of the day for Friday, May 13th. Friday the 13th goes to a football team named the OL. I'm calling them the OL because that's what they are commonly called and because I cannot pronounce uh, the full name. Okay, thank God they are just called the Lion. Okay, no Lucius. Let me attempt to pronounce it. Olympic, Olympic Lions, whatever. Olympic the o- Lions, that's it? No, that's not it, <laughs> okay, actually. Okay, it doesn't sound hard. <laughs> yeah, that's not it. No, it's, it's, hard. it's a little harder than that, but I, I'm saying lines. I'm still shortening it. It's a longer thing with oh, lines. okay. Yeah, but... Always short uh, with you. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sound, it's Freaky Freaky Friday. You sound mad you about keep it. keep playing. You know what? By the time I get to the end uh, of this thing, you won't know nothing. Play anniversary! Stop Wait, it! Wait till you hear this Freaky Friday topic that Envy has for you. What? Whatever. The OL, French Professional <laughs> Football Club. Uh, who earlier this season fired, terminated, let go of a man whose name I also cannot pronounce. Okay? <laughs> let me try it. Struggle. Gerondins de Bordeaux Marcelo. I don't know if I landed That's, that. It was wrong. Uh, I don't know if I landed it. <laughs> I feel like I landed it. Uh, he's a football player, or should I say former football player for the OL. Football. Well, he used to be a defender for the OL, okay? He got dropped, terminated, fired, cut, whatever you want to call it, for inappropriate behavior in the locker room. Now, uh... I'm sure culture is different over there. So excuse me if I'm just an ignorant American here. But when I hear inappropriate in a male locker room, I'm automatically thinking the worst. All right. I mean, the term locker room talk is the term folks use when they want to discuss the language from men that they deem problematic. I mean, historically, it's been used to describe most forms of male human male conversation. You know, the conversation that is sprinkled with a dash of prejudice. Okay, heavy on the sexism, maybe even a pinch of homophobia or racism. But when we hear the term locker room talk, we know what that means. So when I hear Marcelo was let go because of inappropriate behavior in the locker room, in a male locker room, I'm thinking to myself, what the hell was he doing? Was he pinching cheeks? Was he threatening to tickle prostates without consent? What was this uh, inappropriate behavior in a male locker room? Mm -mm -mm. Well, let's go to Rich Eisen for the report, please. Brazilian defender... Marcello. He might say Marcello. Um, I speak Italian, so I'm saying Marcello. Last August, he was dropped from his Lyon team. Mm-hmm. And people didn't understand why. He's 34. He, he wasn't playing great. He was dropped because he was farting and laughing in the dressing room <laughs> too much. That's yeah. why he was dropped. He was caught laughing. This is a real tweet. This is a real story. Leo Dubois, his captain's speech to rally the troops after a game. And his manager, Peter Bose, did not like that. He also apparently was repeatedly farting in the clubhouse and in the dressing room and laughing about it. It's yeah. been a clinch fest all no, week. You can uh, get let go for having gas? He was dropped from the first team. Yep, yep. He was, then he was expelled. Come on, Leo. You expel a man for expelling gas? You cut ties because he cut the cheese? Huh? Come on, Leo. For turd whistling... A man can't even do a little butt air harmony without getting booted from the team. Huh? Ain't no audio should never be a reason for a human to lose a job. Now listen, y'all know me. Okay, your Uncle Charlotte, Brother Lenard. If y'all been listening to me for a long time, you know I don't fart in my clothes. Okay, no sir, no ma'am, not me. All right, I do not fart in my clothes. And if Marcelo was more like me, he wouldn't find himself in this situation. But I know everybody's cheeks not built like mine. Okay? Depending what time of day it is, the smell of butt-baked biscuits coming out of the oven, whether you want them to or not, is going to happen. All right? The problem here is Marcelo was crop dusting on purpose. All right? You heard the woman on the news report say he wasn't playing great. You can't not be playing great and let the mud ducks quack on people, okay? See, when you're not good at what you do, everything you do is annoying, all right? I promise you, if Lionel Messi or Cristiano Ronaldo was letting the rector honk, nobody would bat a brown eye. But you not playing well and giving people free gift cards to wall fart? No, that's not going to work. Now, I'm going to tell you something, Marcelo. All right, matter of fact, I'm talking to both you and uh, the, the OL right now, all right? This could either be a case of discrimination on Marcelo's part or OL. Y'all can say Marcelo was sexually harassing the team. I'm going to tell you why. When grown men, not little boys because little boys are just disgusting, but when grown men fart around other grown men, it's a form of flirting, Okay. That is a chapter from the Book of Charlotte. Anytime a grown man is farting an, around another grown man, it's a form of flirting simply because what other reason is there to let another man know what your ass smells like? Okay? I'm going to tell you, when it's really flirting, because this happens to me all the time in this room, when a man announces he's been farting for no reason, 
I'm not gonna say who the man is, but there's a man in this room who just likes to announce I've been farting. And then you don't smell anything? You know what he's trying to tell you? He's letting you know, I'm ready. We can go right now, okay, if you want to. And when a man farts loudly around another man and it doesn't smell, he's really flirting and showing off because you hear it, but you don't smell it. So he too is letting you know he's ready. Why else would you be revealing the percussion of your butt cheeks around another man? What's that doctor's name, Eddie? Ren John, play Dr. Ren John telling y'all what a fart is. The noise of a fart is a combination of anal sphincter vibrations and the percussion of butt cheeks against each other. Why else would you be revealing the percussion of your butt cheeks against each other around another man? Huh? So Marcelo, you can say they were discriminating against you because of your sexuality. R-O-L, you could say it was sexual harassment on the part of Marcelo. Does all of that sound ridiculous to you? Well, not as ridiculous as firing a man for farting in a male locker room. Please let Remy Ma give Olympic. Lions, the biggest hee-haw. Hee-haw, hee-haw, you stupid mother are you dumb. Mm-hmm. <laughs> See? What? Uh, now, I want y'all to know what happened is uh, the reason the room went silent. <laughs> what? Because your man over there. Who's man? <laughs> Gears, all right? <laughs> all right, I have to remind you of that, okay? Because you think you're mine, all right? What are you Rashawn talking about? Rashawn Casey, DJ Envy, made eye contact with me and then pointed at our producer to hit the, flart, the fart button. It's <laughs> not I true. told you, it's not when true. grown men fart around other grown men, it's a form of flirting. And when they announce that they've been farting and you don't smell it, they're letting you know. That's not true. It's butt clean. It's not true. It's butt clean. I'm not. I'm not. It's butt clean. I'm not playing with you today. Today is right my now. anniversary. I'm not playing with you who, today. Uh, who, uh, who, uh, is you and Gia's anniversary? It's not me and you. Yeah, I can't tell sometimes. Yo, stop it, man. Okay. Uh, all right. Well. Eight yes. hundred. Look at your shirt. Your shirt says out here trusting God. And no, it says trusting God. Eight hundred five eight five one zero five one. We can go two ways with this. Oh. <laughs> Okay, what's going on here? We could go. <laughs> we could go money this guy, long. We could go money this long. This guy, man. We could go money uh, long. I thought we already decided what we were doing. We, we were talking about Ask Ye. All right, this is the way I want to go. Let's go. We know. We were talking about Ask Ye. Now you know somebody <laughs> called in yesterday, and she was basically upset as a dominatrix. We have the call. Um, I've been in a relationship for maybe like seventeen years. In in terms of my relationship. Our, we had like different sexual interests, and um, I thought I'm like a doctor, doctor matrix. I really I like control in the bedroom, and um, he seemed like he was into it. I like to turn them out, but I don't really like when they're into it. So I've been noticing more and more where they are. Um, he is like hooking his booty out, or cause it's like hanging mm -hmm. and I'm kind of not interested in, no, in it no more. First of all, you said the goal is to turn someone out. It worked. Now, have, have you ever yeah, been turned out? So that, that is, is a question. the question. Maybe there was something that you didn't know you would like until you did it. All right. So and it's Friday, and you, you know what that means. It. It's freaky, 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 freaky Friday. Hey. And yesterday, a dominatrix, she said she was married to a guy, and she wanted to peg him. The guy didn't want to get pegged. But after a while of being pegged, he loved it. She didn't like that anymore. Have you ever been turned out in a I'm relationship? Out, you say you got turned out? I'm tapping out. Oh, you tapped out? I'm okay. 800-585-1051. I, I really got to bring this. Don't Have play you gay ever bill been turned out before in a relationship? That's what we're I asking. need you to notarize the don't play gay bill for me. 800-585-1051. Okay. I can't Friday. wait to hear Envy's story because... Nope. Off air, he was talking about getting pegged. That's, don't don't do that. Miss Mika is that's out not, there That's right not what now. you said at first. That's, that's, Mika, <laughs> that's not true. I'm, we gotta pull. I gotta get Miss Mika from yesterday. You gonna start? Right. You gonna start lying on me? Play Cardi Cardi B. What Cardi B say? Oh, you wanna get dangerous in there? You wanna get dangerous? Eight hundred. What you talking about? Get very dangerous. dangerous. <laughs> okay, what you talking about right now is very very dangerous. Let's talk about it. Okay. Have you ever been turned out? It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Donkey today is brought to you by the law office of Michael S. Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey. Dial pound 250 on your cell and say the bull if you've been hurt in a construction accident. That's pound 250 from your cell and say the bull.